gonna do some across the floor things. So normally we would go a lot across the floor, floor and back, but some people might not have a lot of room and that's okay. We can do things in the same spot that we're standing or going across the room. So I'm gonna show you both ways that you can do it. And we're gonna start with our marching knees. We're gonna bring those feet together, those hands on those hips, and those knees are gonna march nice and big. Those knees are going to try to touch my tummy. I'm gonna try and bring it up, 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 and you can march across the floor or in place, just like me. March, march, march. Those knees are trying to touch my tummy is right up here. Big marching knees. Those are big marches with flexed feet. Good. The next thing we get to do, it's a little tricky, but this one is some skips. Now our skips can be a little tricky because this one's a little bit confusing, but our toes are gonna go right to our knee. If you think, kiss your toes to your knee. So our toes come all the way up they point, point, point to our knee, then we switch and up, point, point, point to our knee. So you can do these in place, up, 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 or up, 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 or you can do them across the floor and go across the floor. Those ones are pretty tricky, so be careful. Don't forget to point your toes and have your hands on your hips. This next one we like to call quiet kicks because when they come up and down, they are quiet. So what we're going to do is we're gonna point our toes, we're gonna keep our legs nice and straight, and they're gonna kick and down. Switch, kick, and down. And listen to my toes. They don't make any sounds. We have to make sure that they're nice and quiet. So those kicks are really big. Look at my kicks, up and down, up and down. Big point to toes and down. Make sure that they don't make any sound. And you can do them in one spot, big kicks, or across the floor. Kick, 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 awesome. The next things that we are going to do are our froggy hops. I hope you're ready because this one's tricky too. Some of us like to go really, really far with our froggy hops, but this time we're gonna try and stay in a very small spot. So our hands come all the way down and they touch the floor and our knees go out to the side and we do our big froggy hops. Down and up. Did you see that? Let's do it again. Down and up. Let's try it one more. Down and up. Awesome. Again, looking to the side. I can do them in one spot, up and down. Awesome, up and down. Or I can do them across the floor, down and up. Awesome. Our next ones are the bear crawls and the crab walks. These ones are tricky. So our bear crawls, we're trying to get nice and straight legs back here to stretch them out. Those are big muscles in there. We have super strong arms and super straight legs. And if you don't have a lot of room, that's when we stand here just like this. And we hold it, hold it, hold it with a nice stretch in our legs. But if you have lots of room, you can walk just like your bear crawls. Those are your bear crawls. Now our crab walks are tricky because you do need a lot of space. But if you can't find a lot of space, here's what you do instead. Here are your crab walks. With your feet ready and your hands underneath you, you have to lift your bottom off the floor and walk. If you don't have your room, you can hold your body just like this and get those super strong arm muscles to hold your bottom up and hold, hold, hold. This is a good holding one. Be careful though, you might get a little tired after this. Whew, I'm tired too. Very good everybody, you guys are doing awesome. I'm super excited to be working with you at home, how fun.